What's going on YouTube? Sacred Sage here and I'm back with another video. This time we're gonna get this character into Unreal Engine and it is going to be moving and walking. So this was a big issue when I first started Unreal. So as a memory thing I'm gonna put it in a video so that I can use it as reference. Alright, so I already got the character set up right here, right? I already have Unreal set up right here. But before we do any of that, what we have to do is get the plugin. So this is the latest plugin. I will put this in the description so that you can get it and you can download it. And then once you do download it, there's two places you have to place files. So if you go into the actual Unreal Engine and you go into resources, you will see that there is a DAS Unreal .dll. So this needs to go in your DAS file of plugins, right? So if you go, my setup's probably a little bit different than everyone else's, but uh, you go into like the C drive, go into applications, I believe is where it says it at. Uh, now, then it's 64 bit DAS 3 uh, studios, then plugins, and place that one DLL file right here in this. And then the DAS side is done. Now, for the Unreal side, you have to go to Unreal Engine Plugins, and then it just it goes right here the rest of the fo uh, folder so the whole DAS to Unreal if I can find it there it is the whole folder DAS to Unreal BAM and throw it in there okay that's done so then we go into Unreal and we go into edit plugins and type in DAS it pops up right here you can see the version you click this requires a restart go ahead and restart it and while we're restarting this, we're still not done with the changes that needs to be made to get that model into Unreal. So we'll go ahead and close this out. Edit, Project Settings. Then we go all the way down to DAS to Unreal Settings. And then we want to fix bone rotation on import. We want zero root rotation on import click and click now we are done <clears throat> go ahead and save that now for the DAS portion so what we're gonna do is take the model make sure it's all selected file send to DAS to Unreal click um, you can enable the morphs if you want the morphs uh, I'm gonna do a separate video on how to get geo shells and other sort of uh, what are the ge geographs to get their morphs onto a character and then into Unreal because that's a whole different process. So that's that's gonna be later. So enable morphs if you want, and then you want this show FBX dialog. Have that checked as well click accept and then on this window I, I keep everything just like this and just hit accept and now it's gonna do its thing so it's gonna start converting over all the textures all the uh, rigging I guess of how it works in Unreal I'm not too familiar with that and then as that's done it starts importing over here on the Unreal Engine side so this this could depending on what you're transferring over it could take a minute or two now the character's not going to look exactly the same as it is in Daz, but uh, the hair is going to be a little bit, bit wonky, but I'm going to do an, a, a separate video on that as well. Actually, you know what? I might go ahead and, and do that in this video because it only takes it like a second or two, right? It doesn't actually take that long to uh, change the, the hair to make it look at least halfway normal. All right, so you're going to get up th with these arrows. Just ignore them. Go ahead and close that out. So open up the character and you can see the model is right here in Daz to Unreal and then Rosa Maria. All right, so when we open up this character, let's double click on her 
and then we're gonna take this and we're gonna throw it right up here you're gonna notice right off the bat what the hell is up with that girl's hair that girl's hair is all jacked up it's okay we're about to fix that so you can see oops Ooh, come on you can see it's a little bit a little bit off right it's like almost see-through right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just close this out real quick we're gonna go back into our content uh, textures where we are looking for a particular texture I don't think it's that one actually um, oh where is it female okay is it is it this one might be this one yes okay so this is the uh, the hair base hair right and what it is is the transparency offset is at a default of two so you can tell that was not enough so let's just jack that up to something ridiculous like 40 right and now we're going to save it and then we are going to open up that same character and you can already see the hair is looking a lot better that one setting is what did it right now i'm not going to sit there and fine tune it because i changed it again because i don't like it i think it's too much now but you get the idea of of of, of how it works all right so the next thing we want to do with this character is we want to retarget this character so that it can work in all the animations, right? So what we're going to do is go to Skeleton, we're going to go to Root, and we're going to click this little setting thing right here and show retargeting options, right? They're all skeletons, all the way straight down as, you, as I scroll through. They're all skeletons except for some of these, which shouldn't be that but any pretty much anything should be skeletons all the way down so i'm gonna actually um oh i i know why this i think i know why this happened so let's go ahead and i'm gonna change everything to skeleton so you want everything a skeleton now i don't know the why what works and why it doesn't work I just know how to get it to work like I said I this is a learning process for me but I, I I got it to work oh these are the this is the hair that's what it is so that's that's all regardless anyways it doesn't really much matter okay I was wondering why it's stayed animated all right so everything is skeleton except for one thing this hip this hip is animated scaled right that hair is probably needs to be animated too so it can sway and stuff in the future but i'll figure that out later so this needs to be animated scaled um not sure why but that's what works so that's done we got that okay save close save close now we're going to get this character to a walking state right so let's go to actually I want to turn this real time off so my PC ain't struggling as much so we want to third person third person blueprint click oh we need to retarget don't we all right no problem Uh, viewport this is how you get the blueprint to work right so we want to get I, I, I kind of skipped a step so I, I got to come back to this one but we're gonna change this into the actual character all right so let's go into let's go ahead and close out of this I jumped the gun a little bit um, we need to find Quinn or Manning depending on if you're using a male or female character so let's go ahead and do where are you okay so here's here's the mannequins animations okay so here's Manning and Quinn since I'm using a female I'm gonna use Quinn we're going to retarget animated assets and we're gonna duplicate and retarget animation blueprint bam okay cool this I key um, retargeter it needs to be this zero root retargeter yada yada now if you don't have this setting right here I believe you have to it's a setting you have to change I'm trying to figure out where it's at 
I believe maybe it's in this one. Right here. Show engine content. I believe this is the the setting that you need so that this actually shows up. Because for the first time for me, it didn't show up either. But that might not be the one, but I'm pretty sure it is. So then we change our source skeleton mesh. We want good old Quinn. Then we take our model, Rose Maria. And I'm just going to name this in all caps so I can see it because I'm blind and old. And I'll just name it Rosa, right? And then we're going to retarget and pray. All right. And then, bam, there she is. Now, these look like they came out just fine. Perfect. Woo! All right. So, <clears throat> now we have all the animations of Quinn, right? So, we can, just for organization, this ain't exactly necessary. But for organization, we can go to Dazza, Unreal, Rosa. And then, right here in Rosa, we can new folder and we're going to name it animation and then we are going to take all of these now granted you could have done this already and i don't even think we need all these I, I believe there's a set that's not even required again i just keep them all because i'm unsure it works so i stick to it i don't i don't try and fix what's not broke not yet i don't have that understanding <laughs> all right so 14 items moved animations here they all are all right now we go back to that blueprint right so, uh, third person, blueprint, BP. Then we go to viewport and we click on the character mesh. And then we are going to change this to not Rosa. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. It is Rosa. And I think we changed this class to. Oh, yeah. We should have another Rosa right here. All right, so you can see right here, Rosa, A, B, P, Quinn, right? It keeps that same Quinn thing, but it has the all caps. That's why I did it in all caps, so I could actually see it. We want this one clicked, right? So just, just like that. Now, we want it moving right, so let's go ahead and do the turn. We need to have her turned 90 degrees, so we will just go and do that. Okay. Now we're going to compile, save, and let's see if it works. We're going to hit play. And, well, besides moving, I didn't, uh, <laughs> that's why we wanted to move it. That's an easy fix. So we go back into the third person thing, uh, viewport. And for some reason, she was facing in this direction now. Easy fix. Oops. Easy, easy fix. So we just go back 90 degrees. Simple. Compile. Save. Play. And bam. There's our retargeted character with fixed hair and working just fine from Daz to Unreal. Now, there's a lot of other things I'm going to be working on and trying to figure out, but that's the gist of it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe, comment, beat up that YouTube algorithm, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Take care.